Hi everyone, this is Suzy Q Crafter and today I'm coming to you with our mixed media collab. The 757 CWA and Company Mixed Media Collab. And it is hosted by Don, who's Dare to Be Creative. We also have Sheba, who Sheba finds. Happy birthday, Sheba. We have Lisa, who's Miss Little Scrappy. We have Donna, who's on Instagram. And then we have Leah, who is on Instagram. Yes, ladies, Leah decided to join us today and she will be posting her pictures of her final project on Instagram. Please go by and check out all of the ladies. They did a phenomenal job. As you can see in front of you right here, I have some of the sprays that I used on my project. I used the Nouveau sprays. I used the Lindsay Stamp Gang sprays. Those are my favorite. I used um, another one of the Lindsay Stamp King sprays. This one doesn't have any shimmer in it. It's just a flat spray. I used some stamps that I got from Etsy. I used um, like postage stamps, I should say. And then I used this um, uh, stamp set. This comes from the UK, another Nouveau spray, my archival ink, my crackle or chalk mousse, I should say, and I changed the color of that. I used the Handmade Flowers by Little Birdie. So, and of course, when you see my project, you'll see that I've changed the color of all my flowers. Some more of the flowers. This embossing powder by Lindsay Stamp King. Uh, my Distress inks. And I went ahead and used these stamps from the same company and then I used my Glowforge also to use to make a Eiffel Tower. I really loved the way that turned out. Then I also used a little birdie stencil that I got. And Little Birdie is a company that Sheba told us about. I then went ahead and used Distress Paint. I've had that in my stash for over 10 years, and it's still good. Who said that you shouldn't hoard a few of your scrapbook items? Here is my final project. I really like how it turned out. I love all of the elements, the metal, the flowers, and the wood pieces. And I love the fact that I can take and make my own uh, chipboard pieces to go on my projects because my Glowforge did cut out that Eiffel Tower. Again, um, please go and check out some of the other ladies and their projects. Come back and, and watch for some more inspiration later on in the month. And if you're a subscriber and you leave a comment on this video, I will go ahead and enter you for a mixed media giveaway. Take care now and have an awesome day.